Hey tiny turtles, welcome back to my channel. Oh, I feel so freeing. I feel so free right now because today is my second day of technically like my weekend because when I work, I work Saturday, Sunday for my first job and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for my second job. So technically my weekend's like Thursday, Friday and today's Friday. So welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Hi. I'm Quinn and oh, I feel so happy. It's currently like 6.30. At 7, I have to drop my mom off at work and then I'm gonna go on live to promote my new small business and that's coming soon. I'm not gonna open the Etsy shop too soon, but I'm just preparing all of the items that I wanna make and I've been thinking about this for a very long time and I want to make so many things but I feel like everybody's like you have to niche down but I realized that I just like making things with my hands I'm not like an artist or anything but I do like to like cut things and bead things I like jewelry classes and so I thought I would just give it a try make things that I like to make and sell them maybe to take my grandma to Japan maybe to get Mochi's teeth fixed maybe to get a car I don't know a new house that would be the ultimate goal but small dream we'll see how it goes it's basically I don't know why I decided to do this now because as I said I have two jobs and then I've already been struggling enough trying to make content for you guys, especially because my mom got sick last week, so I didn't have access to my camera. I left it at my mother's house along with my iPad that I use for editing. <sighs> so that was a struggle, but we're here. And yeah, today's gonna be quite a hectic day. After I drop my mom off, then I'm gonna go on live for about like five hours on TikTok. If you're not following me everywhere, Quinny LaPoo, it's that easy. Then I gotta drop off my bed. I disassembled it last night. So that has to go to my dad's house because I'm currently moving out of my mom's house and I gotta finish moving out in like two weeks. So that should be fun. I'm feeling a little bit stressed about it just because stress slash sadness, like it's like I don't want to go put it in the box and then it's a very slow process but um I think I'm doing okay um a lot of clothes that I have to move so that should be fun bed's going today my mom did not want to get a moving truck so yeah hopefully it all fits in her car I've been taking little things here and there in luggage cases and big storage bins to my dad's house but um, it's crunch time and I realized having only two days of break is very difficult to move all of my stuff up uh, even like adding on to that my dad well my mom and dad live about like 40 minutes to an hour away from each other so that's even better for me because um, that means less trips because obviously gas is expensive so technically would it have been cheaper just to get the storage truck the world may never know so I'm gonna go wash my face and then let's do some skincare skincare wow I look kind of like trashy um, I'm gonna put my hair down I think when we're doing the live but I decided to wear a little hoodie because I felt like it looks better than a t-shirt <laughs> and I don't have any like nice kind of looking clothes on my mom's house may have taken my clothes like my fancier clothes a little too early but it's fine. This is my Tatcha essence that I'm putting on my face at the moment. Oh, my hands are cold, which makes it feel really good on my face. Today's a pretty good skin day. I was surprised. I thought the stress would take over and ruin it for me, as it usually does, but we're doing okay. Tatcha water cream just a little bit I'll be inside for most of the day so I don't need like super hydration so just a little bit and then let's rub it into my face 
and I don't usually wear makeup, but I feel like I want to do a little bit of color on my lips. It looks like I already have some color because I had a lip stain on last night. So I'm going to go in with my Tatcha Kiss You Lip Mask. Oh, what are we feeling today? Mm, I'm going to go for this Daisyk color. Actually, I'm going to take my mom to work first and then I'll put it on because I don't want it to just come off, you know? I start streaming in like an hour, so I have time to do that. But it's this Daisyk Fruity Lip Jam in the shade 3. I'm not sure what color that is, but this is what it looks like on the inside. It's a really pretty color. So I'll see you after I drop off my mother and then I gotta make my coffee and maybe a bagel if I want to eat since I will be streaming for five hours. So yeah, we'll see. No time for food, only coffee. Two Maxim packets. I have to start the live in like, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So let's hurry this up so I can sit down, get situated. I dropped my mom off at work, so it's perfect. The ice in cold water. That's the coffee. So um, I gave up the TikTok live. Only I was going at it for like an hour and a half and only like one person was watching everybody was coming and going so i was like oh maybe this isn't the most interesting thing maybe this is not what tiktok wants but i did end up cutting i prepared my stickers i hand drew 500 of these and then i covered them with little laminate so they're protected from water they're not waterproof they're water resistant so you can drop water on here and it'll all be okay but if you like douse it in water then it'll seep through but for the little things these are meant to be like little journaling stickers or whatever this is what they look like when they're all cut out and stuff so i have 20 different colors two sheets of each which equates to a little well not little but over 500 stickers that i plan to cut today and my hand has been cramping up really badly. I'm pretty sure, well, I know it's from my other two jobs because I do a lot of hands-on work over there. And for my second job, because I'm handling so much paper, it's like I'm getting little micro cuts on my hand and they're just so dry that what's the worst is when I wash dishes, it's so painful because I can feel the soap and stuff get into my hands. Like washing my hands is fine, but like having to scrub all of the dishes and stuff, that's super painful. But I'm gonna keep going because I want this to work. I wanna quit at least one of my jobs by the end of this year. That's my goal. So I can only have three jobs, content creation, the Etsy shop, and one of the other jobs. We'll see which one I keep, but for now, I need to work hard on these stickers so I can be able to quit one of them. <laughs> this is my rotisserie chicken broth that I made last week, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, and then I froze it because I wouldn't have time to eat it. I have some shrimp beans over here, and I'm just going to make simple soup with some noodles. Yeah, all healthy, using up the stuff in the fridge. Uh, let's put it in some water. About that much shrimp. I want the soup to be more concentrated, so I'm just gonna let it boil all of the liquid as much as possible. Well, not as much as possible. I don't want it to be a sauce, but like, I'll let it go for a little while. My mom has been cleaning, and then I'm like, oh, let me get a bowl for my soup. <laughs> these plates gone? Just, just these little bowls? <laughs> oh no. So, it's going back in here. I'm gonna make some little wontons and then dump in the little shrimp peas. 
I added some little wontons in there, some frozen ones that we got from Costco. The shrimps are in there. Should have added the shrimp a little bit later because the wontons aren't like nearly as defrosted. So yeah, and then I have a scrambled egg over there that I'm just gonna add to make like a little egg drop soup moment, you know? Okay, it's boiling quite a bit, so let's add our egg, gently mixing. Beautiful, and then when I pour it back in this container, I'll cook the leftover eggs in here. And then pour it back into our serving dish. Let's not let it overflow, shall we? There we go. That's brunch. Beautiful. Taste test since we're here, I guess. I'm sitting on my ankle. We gotta try the soup. Mm, a lot of chicken flavor. I love that. And the egg is nice and like silky soft in here. We have our little shrimpy. Let's try it. Mm. Pleasantly surprised. Let's try a little bit of this little chive and chicken wonton. Very hot, but very good. Mm. I'm gonna go finish this off and then back to sticker cutting I go. I was gonna do a empty house tour, but I wasn't intending like no furniture when I got back. Um, but there's currently no dining room table, no sofa. The TV is on the floor. Um, so I'm gonna sit in my sister's space, but she left her Arizona's and sunflower seeds and there's seeds on the chair <laughs> oh, We're going to my dad's house, but I can't drive because it's so close to the steering wheel only my mom can do it Look at that. I did it So I moved my bed with the help of my motor and we got it inside. Little did I know, it had bolts that was like the nail and then the bolt on the other side. So um, I wasn't able to put together the bed because I lost the bolt somewhere. I need to go look for them. So far, I took out 12 nails and I found three. So um, that was on me. Still looking for them. Maybe they're still in the structure, but um, let's hope they are. Anyways, I got back to my mom's house. My hand is so sore. I've been cutting out my little peoples for the past couple of hours. Still have a little bit more left to go. I got them. Uh oh, I just dropped it on the floor. But I need to do that. I'm feeling really hot, dehydrated. Mm -hmm. And that's the progress update. I'm excited to open my Etsy shop one day, but for now, I will put in the hard work during my days off. And I'm like, just sitting and waiting for tomorrow's work day because I know it's gonna be really busy. So for right now, I'm just gonna work hard on the thing that I actually wanna do in the future. And then I'll make my money tomorrow when I go to work. <laughs> I don't mean to be very complacent. I've just had the same job for the past five years and I've only made minimum wage from that job. So I'm just ready for change, you know, and I want to do content full time. It's not looking good for me right now because I keep overloading things like my second job. But one day, I hope it happens and then Oh my goodness, I can't even imagine having school next month. Just to add that on, it's my senior year of college, so that's going to be a lot of writing intensives, a lot of just business stuff that I have to take care of. So yeah, I feel like I'm slowly getting burnt out, but that's life. And my dad's like, oh, I used to have three jobs when I was your age, so I was like, 
then I'll try harder. I will take it. I'll handle it. And yeah, I've noticed I haven't been eating as much or I've been eating more unhealthy things. So that's been happening. I've been budgeting, trying to get my life together, all of that kind of stuff while I've been offline. But it's the video making that makes me so happy and yeah, I'm just so happy to be able to do this on my free days. Luckily, I don't have a third job that takes place that I would be working seven days a week because I love doing this. It's It makes me so happy. I could cry about it, but I think I'm just too tired and hot to do that right now. So I'm just going to shut up, watch some below deck and finish cutting. I finished the flowers. I'm not flowers, the hearts. I think I'm just going crazy. Over 500 I cut out today. Beautiful. They will be going in little packs and then they will be sold in my Etsy shop coming soon. This is a little sneak peek. Oh, I found one that was not cut. We gotta fix that immediately. But today was a nice day. I still have a little bit so I'm gonna pack. I currently do not have a bed so I'm gonna arrange my pillows and stuff and sleep over there but we'll get to that when we get to it i'm watching some below deck it motivates me to be rich so i can buy a yacht i'm just joking i actually get seasick i just like to watch it for the drama but uh yeah i finished i just wanted to say that i'm so proud all of these stickers were done today oh to think i was supposed to go on live and then i didn't end up doing that but that means now i gotta start actually doing like, hello Quinn, back to reality we go, and I gotta clean this room of mine. Hi, you're looking at my shirt. It's currently dinner time, so I have some oil heating, chili garlic oil actually, and I have some eggs. Oh. <laughs> I have some eggs, and I have some leftover olive garden bread that I have to use up before we move. So that's currently in the air fryer. I think I'm gonna go for three so I can even if I don't eat that much tomorrow. There we go. They're tiny eggs. Tis a breakfast for dinner kind of situation, you know? And I've seen a lot of people doing this chili oil egg, but I like chili garlic oil. Look at how much garlic is over there. Da -da -da -da! Garlic bread. Let's take a little sneaky peek at our eggs. Beautiful. I think they're perfect. The egg yolk, no, the egg white is gonna cook more as I like mix it around and stuff. So I think this is perfectly fine. The hot oil is gonna keep on cooking them. So I think it's good. I like to eat bread for a lot of my meals because it's cheap and it's filling. Um, if I had a choice, I would eat Ace Benedict all day, but we're on a budget. So I eat the free salad at Olive Garden and then I leave the bread to take home so I could have it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner in a few weeks. <laughs> so let's give it a try. I don't do this often. Like this is my second time going to Olive Garden because my sister likes the bougier places. But um, all you can eat breadsticks and salad with a purchase of an entree isn't that bad. So, hmm. I thought there would be more flavor, but it's okay. That's what the eggs are for. Okay, it's kind of hot, it's burning my fingers. You get the little bread and you pop the egg yolk. See how the egg whites cooked so it's fine. And you get it like this with the nice runny egg and the chili oil. It's gonna give it so much more flavor. It depends where you buy the eggs, but these eggs were pretty cheap. We bulk buy them from Costco, so they last like forever. And it's just so filling, so tasty. And there's three eggs, so hello, protein. And plus, it's like literally took so short to make. 10 minutes max, and you get a nice meal.
I think I overate the breadsticks. I was only able to eat three. But I'm learning how to limit myself. So I was like, you don't need to eat anymore. Chill, Quinn. Just don't eat it. It's okay. I'll save it for tomorrow. So I had all the eggs, but I only ate three breads. Which I mean, one bread, one egg per bread. It would have been good. I should really focus more on hydrating because when I'm at my first job, I don't really have time to drink. Like, you can drink stuff here and there, but like I'm more on the floor with customers and then at my second job I just don't want to run out to the bathroom so I try not to drink that much water and that means I only drink about this cup a day from each job until like nighttime where I drink another one of these cups and that's not a lot of water so um I gotta be better about that but yeah I should be packing so my sister can bring more clothes and stuff for me to my dad's house. I'll be at work, but she's going to go to his house tomorrow. So I need to fill out these one plastic container so I can bring it back. Other than that, I didn't finish these darn hearts. And I feel like I really want to finish them. Look at my little basket. It's filling up. So I'm going to be doing that until the day falls. It's currently... 5.51 so yeah I'm just so tired I don't want to work another five days stop complaining just shut up it's okay so I gotta make my bed I have a bunch of things on the floor I was going through a bunch of stuff and other stuff and more stuff and oh yeah <laughs> so I have Swept it away. Should I have vacuumed? Yes, but um, it's a little too late for that. So this is how we're gonna do it, okay? I have this blanket. We can lay this out first. <gasps> My little tuck. Let me put you a little bit lower. This is what we're dealing with. Blanket on floor. And I have three pillows. I'm kind of, I have bad back problems from when I did high school sports, so it's really, I don't know, it makes me really sensitive to how I sleep because I have a bad back, bad neck, etc. So then, I got two pillows, so we're going to line them up. And then, unfortunately, all of my, oh no, I do have one Squishmallow, thank goodness. I found this. My tuxedo sand. I have my blanket over here. This is a hard blanket, so I feel like it wouldn't do anything for me. And then I have this pillow to go at the top, like this. And then I'm gonna sleep on tuxedo sand, like so. And we're just gonna make it work. It's like I'm sleeping over at somebody's house. Just like so. Oh, I think I'm so comfortable now. So this pillow crack goes into my back over here and then I have the other one over there. And now I'm ready for bed. So I guess this means I'll see you, not tomorrow, because tomorrow I work. So yeah, I'll see you later in my free time. I'm trying to manage being a content creator and having two other jobs and now doing my Etsy shop. Is that a good idea? Who knows? You just have to gonna stick around and find out. Wow, I'm so tired and brain rotted. I'm stumbling on my words. So I'm just gonna go now before it gets worse. Subscribe! Bye!